Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am back in the building for another vlog. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, today we will be talking about Mr. DeAndre Way, a.k.a. First Rapper 2, a.k.a. Big Gucci Draco, a.k.a. Soldier Boy. Okay, so the story goes, Soldier Boy says that he signed a deal with Atari. And he's allegedly the owner of Atari and all this other fly jiggy stuff. And Atari came back and was like, Hey, bruh. No, we didn't sell nothing to you. <laughs> we didn't sell nothing to you. Um, so yeah, like who is you? We 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 didn't do all of that. We we didn't offer you a contract for our company. So we're gonna take a look at this video to s speak more about it. Speak more to the narrative. Let's go. First of all, nigga, fuck Atari, nigga. Second of all, nigga, I've been making millions from my ad Soldier Boy gang, cost of mine and my own business. Atari, y'all puss. If y'all don't remember, Soldier Boy had the uh, gaming console, the Soldier game, which was uh, filled with uh, gaming content that was licensed to other uh, gaming companies. Sort of like a. a Sort of, it was sort of like some type of like emulator. I don't even know. Does he even sell that thing anymore? I have to go look it up before this video is over with. But yeah, uh, came out those years um, some time ago. What year was that that he was like really booming with? Like he was really selling the, the console. Um, what was that, 2019, I think? I think it was 2019, but yeah. He basically, if you don't know, he was basically selling... Um, a console with uh, you know, pretty much like a thousand games on it. You know, kind of like an emulator, basically. And he was selling that for I don't know how much, but people were actually buying it. Back to the video. The ass called me and said y'all wanted me to revamp y'all company. Okay. Bitch ass nigga, y'all know what the fuck I meant when I said I'm on an Atari. Soldier Atari. Boy. Is a public traded company. Can't no one man own the shit. So first of all, nigga, Atari, eat a motherfucking dick, nigga. Don't call my phone. Okay, so he basically just said, he basically just answered his own, like, narrative when he said that no one man can own a publicly traded company. So... This is why I say he's great at marketing. This is why I say Soldier Boy is great at marketing. This is another one of Soldier Boy's things, man. Soldier Boy orchestrated this, bruh. Ain't you not telling me he didn't orchestrate this? There's, there's no way. I, that's why I say, he, man, he's like the, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a star at doing this, man. He's, he's good at doing this. No more asking me to help y'all promote shit. Dead ass video game company. When nobody talk about no motherfucking Atari before yesterday. So Atari suck a dick. Everybody at Atari eat a dick. And I still got the money. Nigga, fuck y'all talking about. I'm finna show the motherfucking contract that y'all sent me. This puss ass contract. Talking about a million shares. Talking about all this weak shit. Fuck Atari, nigga. I'm rich off Soldier Boy game. Hold the fuck up. Let me show you this puss ass contract. Right, let's they see this me. contract. Hold I'm on, a, man. I'm going to uh, expand the Y'all got me fucked clip. up. Puss ass Atari. Hold on, man. Atari. Boom. Right. Perfect. Let's look at it. If I can see here, if I could read it real quick, it says for value received in exchange for market. Delivered with respect to the upcoming digital blah blah blah, the upcoming digital world soldier boy identified in the signature. It says cooperation and marketing services set as 
agreement, 1 million Atari tokens within 10 business days, the date of hereof. An additional 1 million Atari tokens, Atari tokens, Atari tokens, Atari tokens. That is all I see down this contract. It doesn't it doesn't look like from this contract soldier it doesn't look like this con from this contract that they wanted to sell their company to you it sounds like they wanted to do a partnership sort of like a collaboration of sorts and you took it as them trying to sell you their company there's no way soldier boy doesn't have a lawyer who can like literally explain this contract to him? There's, there's, how, how did? That's why I say, Soldier Boy is the king of trolling and marketing. I bet you anything. Just my thought process here. I bet you anything. Soldier Boy knows that this contract doesn't mean anything about selling shares or buying part of the Atari company. This is all. It says it the 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 word to pay attention to in to in this whole entire contract agreement cooperation at the top right there, but right there where it says cooperation and marketing. How did soldier boy? How did the lawyer not explain this to him? He knows, man. He's just. I think he knows. He's just doing whatever. He's just doing whatever he's doing. They got a fucking deal right there, nigga. One million Atari, one million Atari, all this fucking Atari shit. Matter of fact, fuck this contract. Fuck Atari. Don't call me no more. Don't put my, don't attach my name to y'all name, bitch ass nigga. And I still got the money. Y'all sent me two contracts. Y'all said y'all wanted me to bring y'all company back because y'all was proud of what I did with Soldier Boy Game. Here go the contract right here, nigga. From Atari, a million, a million. So you know what? Fuck Katari, nigga. Rip the contract up. Rip the deal up. Suck my dick, nigga. Everybody follow at Soldier Boy Game. Y'all getting exposed. That, what that say right there? Soldier Boy, a million. Ah, uh, nigga, fuck y'all, nigga. It's something he's covering. I ain't up got a cap about shit, bitch. Side. I got receipts on everything I do, nigga. That shit say a million Atari. A million, and y'all call me. Fuck y'all. I, I was not thinking about no fucking Atari. Don't call me no more. Leave me alone. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, nigga. I literally think this is Soldier Boy's way of promoting Atari. Call me crazy. That's what I think. I think this is his way of promoting Atari. This is his way of promoting Atari, and yeah, that's it. That's it, bro. I'm doing good by myself, nigga. I'm in a six million dollar mansion, nigga. You fucking white people, or Chinese people, whatever the fuck y'all is from Atari, calling me, bothering me. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to help y'all company. I don't want to work with y'all. Leave me alone, because y'all try to make it look like I'm capping, and y'all try to put me on the internet, talking about Sandra West said, he ain't on. Nigga, fuck y'all. Why y'all follow me on Instagram? Why y'all follow me on Twitter? Why y'all call my phone asking me to work with y'all? Fuck Atari, nigga. Leave me alone, nigga. Don't call my phone no more, nigga. God damn, y'all nigga pussy. Follow at Soldier Boy Game. I'm about to make $140 million. I'm finna sell my video game company at Soldier Boy Game. Leave me alone, bro. Y'all. But you wanna know what's crazy? I actually believe he's actually gonna sell that many Soldier Boy consoles. Even though motherfuckers know that it's not even an actual console it's just like a uh it's a ripoff the soldier boy game console is a ripoff console and it's just a whole bunch of copyrighted games on the console but it don't matter to to folks they still buying it they still buying it knowing that it's like some of them know some of them don't know knowing that it's like it's not a real game console Anybody can drop ship those those uh I can't even remember the name of those consoles, but anybody can drop ship those consoles from uh what was it called? What's the name of that site? Uh not Wish, but um dang. 
Alibaba. Anybody can drop ship those consoles from Alibaba. Hell, anybody can drop ship those consoles from Amazon and sell them at X amount of dollars a console. But people act people act like, you know, some people don't, are naive and don't know that. I'm clout chasing, nigga. Y'all call me asking me to promote y'all weak ass company, nigga. Don't nobody know nothing about no fucking Atari, nigga. Y'all call me. I didn't call y'all. This man is beefing with a whole video game company that has been out since before he was alive. Since before I was alive. Since before a lot of people were alive. This is so funny. This, this is for this is hilarious. Y'all sent me the deal. I ain't send y'all shit. So nigga, leave me alone. Nigga, don't call me no more, nigga. At Soldier Boy Game. <laughs> the smile. At Soldier Boy Game. Us rappers to promote y'all pussy ass <laughs> company, nigga. Fuck y'all. Y'all niggas clout chasing, nigga. Get out my dick, nigga. Don't call me no more, nigga. Ask me to promote shit, nigga. Don't call me talking about some help us bring a tyrant back. Don't call me talking about some. We like what you did with Soldier Boy Gang. Fuck y'all, nigga. Soldier Boy Gang got more followers than Atari. Soldier Boy Gang. Oh, hold on. Let's see how many followers. Who has more followers? Let's see here. Okay. Uh, it's looking like Atari got more followers than you, Soldier Boy. Salute to whoever put <laughs> salute to whoever put up both of these pages to show who actually has more followers. It's hilarious, bro. And they got more posts. Telling more consoles than Atari. <laughs> Fuck Atari, nigga. Don't call me no more, bro. But you know what's even more crazy? I expose y'all, nigga. You know what's even more crazy? This could have been a whole good setup for for Soldier Boy. Honestly, if we're being completely honest, he could have actually collaborated with Atari, an actual video game company, and he probably could have got a console made through Atari if he wouldn't have did all this rah-rah and figured out that they wanted to, like, collaborate with him instead of him thinking he owns and they're, they're selling their company to him. Like, and legitimately just doing some... it. The contract literally states that it's collabor it's a collaborative marketing like type of thing. He could have literally came up on came up on a whole nother collaboration through this and made got like a special edition console made through Atari. But it's just Soldier Boy being Soldier Boy at the end of the day, I guess, man. But he really, I feel like he dropped the ball on this one because, yeah, you can still keep on making your money with the Soldier Boy console and, you know, people are going to buy it. I don't know who these people are who haven't figured out that this console is not anything, like, authentic. It's just some, something you can, like, literally go do yourself and make the same and probably make the same amount of money as Soldier Boy. But then again, probably not because Soldier Boy is... You know, he's a whole brand, so, but, yeah, I feel like he, he dropped, he kind of dropped the ball on this one a little bit, and also I feel like this was a marketing scheme a little bit, you know, his own version of a marketing scheme, he twisted it on them and basically just went on the internet and does what he does best, rant. Where y'all got me fucked up? What? Don't never get on the internet trying to play with me about nothing, nigga. Fuck you talking about y'all puts ass company call me nigga talking about bring y'all puts ass company back nigga i don't even heard y'all play sega and nintendo i never played atari nigga fuck you talking about nigga hold on where this shit at look at this puss ass shit y'all sent me two contracts 13 pages y'all sent me 30 con y'all got me fucked up nigga i exposed the whole shit nigga fuck you talking about nigga i ain't never capped about nothing in my in the game bitch let me, let me see if there's anything don't else don't tell same ass cause... nigga boy puss ass chinese boy whatever the now I'm finna shoot a whole motherfucking TV show. I ain't got time for this shit. Cause this is ten minutes long, man. I got B T. Tyree, don't call me no more. Suck. All right. So basically, the verdict is the final verdict here is that I feel like this is a mar I feel like this is a Soldier Boy doing his own marketing scheme. Uh, 
he knows that he knows that he didn't he didn't buy the he Atari didn't sell the company to him and he's just doing what he does best ranting this is a marketing scheme for him to make him look good you know what I'm saying in a sort of way um I do feel as though like I said before that Soldier Boy really dropped the ball on this one because he could have legitimately did like a whole actual collaboration with a video game company and actually got a console. He could have actually had a console made. Like he could have had like a special edition Soldier Boy gaming console made by Atari. Like one of those plug and play things. One of those plug and play uh, consoles made by Atari. That would have been fire. But hey, you know, I guess he he felt like they disrespected him by you know by them saying like, hey, he doesn't own our company, or whatever, you know. Which that you know, at the end of the day, I feel like that's what they I feel like they were supposed to do that. That's what they were supposed to do. Were they gonna let him say that they he owns their company? No. I mean, he don't. He got he can he can be mad, but like. I mean, it's a. He said it himself. It's a. This is a publicly traded company that one man cannot own. So how would you think you were gonna get the whole entire? Even if it was like shares, like come on, bro. Like, come on now. He, I, like I said, he dropped the ball on this one. He could have got a whole uh, collab. He he could have had like a one-off collaboration with them and made like a they could have made like a special edition console for him or even collaborated and and got uh got like a uh like some sort of game put in development you never know but we'll never know so that's the end of the video y'all like comment and subscribe and i am out of here